This is the milking test. It can tell you the cause of these abnormal blood vessels we're seeing on the abdomen. Here's how to never forget it for your medical exams. But first, I want you to recall in the comments below the name of these visible vessels. To start with, you need to understand this. The abdominal veins drain in different directions, but if you draw a horizontal line through the umbilicus, then the superficial blood vessels above that line tend to drain upwards, whereas the ones below that line tend to drain downwards. We don't usually see these abdominal vessels, so this already is abnormal. Hints at what that cause might be. Let me explain. By the way, I've released a brand new guide, Never Forget Clinical Exams. Master your OSCEs and vivas by remembering more clinical signs and perfect your examination technique. Comment OSCE for some free pages. In the milking test, we occlude the vein, milk it of its contents, and then see which side the blood refills. This will tell you if the blood's draining towards or away from your finger. So why is this helpful? We call these veins caput medusae. If we see them draining in the right direction, then this indicates that there's high blood pressure in the portal system. Portal vein hypertension is commonly seen in cirrhosis. If it's in the reverse direction, that means the portal vein is obstructed, such as a portal vein thrombosis. What if you see those bottom veins go upwards? Well, that must mean there's an inferior vena cava obstruction. And the opposite is true. If those top ones are going downwards, that means there's a superior vena cava obstruction. I've got another patient for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.